Hello everyone, good day for all. Welcome back to another episode of Ayurvedam Veda or Smart Way to Ayurveda. I am Dr. Kavya Vasudev and you are watching Study Ashtanga Hridaya series. Please subscribe to my channel and enable the bell button for continuous updates in Samhita. Till now we have discussed the 12 chapters of Ashtanga Hridaya Sutra Sthana. If you have not watched those videos, please click the i button to access them. Moving with the 13th chapter, Dosho Pakramaniya Adhyaya. So within this uh, 11th and 12th chapters, the matters regarding the doshas has been mentioned. So in the 11th and 12th chapter, the sthana of dosha, what are the normal functions of the doshas, what happens for the vritti and kshaya of doshas occur, what are the signs and symptoms of vritti and kshaya, then what are the types of doshas and what are the normal functions of these uh, five types of vada, pitta and kapha and how these doshas are attaining the chaya, prakopa and prashamana and uh, how the diseases are being manifested by this uh, doshas has been mentioned and also the signs and symptoms in general to understand whether vada, pitta or kapha dosha has been aggravated has also been mentioned in these two chapters. So till these two chapters all the lekshanas has been mentioned and we have called it as lekshana skanda and from this chapter that is 13th chapter doshopakramaniya adhyaya this starts with the aushatha skanda that is from here the management of these doshas or the vyadhi is being mentioned. So dosha upakramaniya adhyaya this can be split into two words that is dosha upakrama that is doshanam upakramana is being mentioned in this chapter. Upakrama means the chikilsa or the aushatha that is the management or the medicines which we need to cure the diseases or to control these doshas are being mentioned. So from this 13th chapter the next three chapters are being mentioning about the aushatha skanda that is the various kinds of management and the uh, drugs which we can use for in each condition is being explained. So moving with the uh, dosha upakramana that is how we can manage the doshas which have undergone the vritti or the prakopa avastha and what are the measures uh, the either the treatment or the medicines by which we can control these doshas are being explained. First is vritha vada chikilsa that is vada uh, how to control the vata dosha. Vatasi upakramaha sneha sveda samshodanam mrudu svadamla lavanoshnani bhojani abhyanga mardanam veshtanam trasanam sego madhyam paishtika gaudikam snigdhoshna bastayo bastiniyamaha sukhashilata deepanehi pachanehi siddha snehascha aneka yoneha visheshan medya pishita rasa taila anuvasanam Vatasya upakramaha sneha sveda samshodhanam mrudu swadu amla lavana ushnani bhojani abhyanga mardanam veshtanam trasanam seko madhyam paishtiga gaudikam snigdha ushna bastayoho bastiniyamaha sukha shilata deepanehi pachanehi siddha snehaha cha aneka yonayaha visheshat medya pishita rasa taila anuvasanam vatasya upakramaha sneha sveta samshodhanam mrutu swadu amla lavana ushnani bhojani abhyanga mardanam veshtanam trasanam seko madhyam paishtiga gaudikam snigdha ushna bastayo bastiniyamaha sukha shilata deepanaihi pachanaihi siddha sneha cha aneka yonayaha Visheshat medya pishita rasa taila anuvasanam. So how we can control this vata dosha is being mentioned. First is snehana that is the oleation or the anxious property the dravyas which are having the anxious property should be administered. The sneha is of two types that is bahya sneha and abhyandara sneha that is internal and external administration of snehas are there. Snehas are being considered four major snehas are there that is sarpi, taila, vasa and majja. Either of these uh, four uh, snehas can be used for uh, controlling the vata dosha and the most uh, uh, important or the uh, best shodhana or best shamana aushati or the best sneha which can control the vata dosha is uh, sarpi and taila. 
so this administration of uh, thaila or uh, sneha uh, any kind of the snehas can be administered that is snehana either bahya or abhyantara next is svetana that is the sweating therapy is called as svetana so in conditions of vata dosha vritti different kinds of pain will be present or the supti or the numbness will be present such different kinds of uh, pain will be more predominant so in such conditions we can apply the svetana karma then samshodhana mrutu that is samshodhana or the shodhana karma will increase the vada dosha and so mrutu shodhana has to be done all the pancha karmas or all the shodhanas will lead to the vada prakopa or vada vritti so we have to go for the mrutu shodhana we have to control the vada dosha so for that purpose we should go for mrutu shodhana that is mild shodhana karma should be given not go for the tikshna uh, shodhana mild shodhana has to be administered then the con we can control the vada vritti swadamla lavana ushtani bhojyani that is the ahara or the bhojya should be consumed which is having swatu amla and lavana um, taste predominant that is it has been mentioned in the rasa dosha sambandha in the first chapter it has been mentioned that uh, madhura amla and lavana rasas will be reducing the vata dosha so the food which is having predominance of madhura amla and lavana aharas should be consumed and also ushna that is ushna guna will or ushna virya will be helping in reducing the vata dosha so vata is having the shita property so the ushna which is opposite to that of vata will be helping in reducing the vata dosha so the food which is having swatu amla and lavana rasas and also ushna virya should be consumed abhyanga the next coming with the other uh, treatment procedures that is abhyanga oil massage abhyanga is considered to be the best uh, treatment for uh, controlling the vata dosha so abhyanga that is oil massage has to be done in conditions of vata dosha then mardana that is simple massage or giving pressure and doing the simple massage is called as mardana it also helps in controlling the vata dosha veshtana that is wrapping or covering the body part or the organ with some cloth is called as veshtana so especially the bandaging can be done when there is a different difficult or different types of pains are there we can do the bandaging so that bandaging will help in removing the pain and there is also one kind of uh, svetana called as upanaha sveta that is also a type of bandaging in which the both the svetana property will also be there and the bandaging effect also will be got so such all different kinds of bandagings can be done in conditions of vada vritti it will be helping in uh, removing the pain as well as that vada dosha will also be getting reduced next is trasana that is uh, threatening or making the person frightened by that we can control the vata dosha then seka seka is also one of the type of uh, svetana karma the, especially four types of svetas are mentioned uh, one among is the seka seka means pouring uh, the medicated uh, water uh, that is kashaya or uh, oil or uh, some sneha dravyas uh, over the body so based on the dosha predominance we can select the uh, dravyas so in conditions of vada vritti uh, we can use the either thaila or the medicated kashayas can be used for the seka karma so seka means pouring uh, of herbal decoctions or oil on the affected part it can be done all over the body or the localized part also can be done so seka means the uh, kashaya or uh, the sneha dravyas which is being heated and poured over the body part is called as seka madhyam paishtika gautikam next is madhya madhya is having an analgesic property because of its uh, properties uh, like uh, tikshna ruksha such all properties this madhya helps in controlling the pain and also it will be helping in controlling the vata dosha also so the madhya uh, the several kinds of uh, madhyas have been mentioned in this uh, previous chapter that is uh, prepared from different uh, substances so the paishtika and gaudika type of madhya can be used in conditions of vata vritti next is snigdha ushna bastayo bastiniyamaha 
and uh, in the first chapter itself it has been mentioned that the best shodhana karma which we can adopt in vada vritti or vada dosha is basti so uh, basti has to be followed or basti karma has to be done as per the basti niyama that is the different types of bastis are there that is uh, anavasana basti asthapana basti and uttara basti are there based on the condition we have to adopt the proper basti karma and that too the proper regimen of this basti karma should be followed and administer the basti karma sukha shilata that is uh, comforting the patient the patient if uh, goes on working or do more of activities or such things then the vada vritti will be happening so the patient or the person has to be comforted or he should not do any work or he should take rest so by that vada dosha will be getting reduced so sukha shilata that is comfort of the patient should be done दीपनैहि पाजनैहि सिद्धा स्नेहाश्च अनेक योनयः एंड आल्सो द बेस्ट शमन औषधि फॉर वाद दोषा इज द तैला दैट टू कम्स अंडर द स्नेह द्रव्यस सो द स्नेह द्रव्यस ऑलरेडी इन द वाद उपक्रम इट हैज बीन मेंशन वी हैव टू प्रोवाइड द स्नेह द्रव्य आइदर इट कैन बी बाह्य और आभ्यंतर सो दिस स्नेह द्रव्यस शुड बी प्रोसेस्ड विद द्रव्यस सच एज दीपना एंड पाचना द्रव्य दैट इज दीपना मींस द द्रव्यस व्हिच हेल्प्स इन इंप्रूविंग द अग्नि दीप्ति और हेल्प्स इन किंडलिंग द डाइजेस्टिव फायर एंड पाचना मींस दैट द्रव्यस व्हिच हेल्प्स इन द डाइजेशन प्रोसेस सो द द्रव्यस व्हिच आर दीपना एंड पाचना शुड बी प्रोसेस्ड विद द sarpi and such sarpi should be given to the patient who has the increase of vata dosha and also aneka yoneha the sneha is of different origin that is it can be either animal origin as well as the plant origin for example the plant origin are uh, uh, taila uh, different kinds of uh, tailas are uh, there and uh, they comes under the uh, plant origin and also the animal origin such as uh, sarpi uh, similarly vasa majja all comes under the animal origin so different sources of sneha dravyas are there based on the condition we have to select the proper sneha dravya and this sneha dravya has to be processed with the deepana and pajana dravya and such uh, sneha has to be administered to the patient next is visheshat medya pishita rasa taila anuvasana visheshat in general these all things can be administered to the person who is having vada vritti that is snehana svetana abhyanga mardana then madhya uh, bhojana which is having uh, snigdha uh, ushna guna or uh, swadhu amla lavana rasa such all things can be done and also the trasana veshtana such all uh, management can be done in conditions of vada dosha vritti other than this vishesha that is especially we can go for the management such as medya pishita rasa that is uh, taila anuvasana the anuvasana basti has to be administered so already it has been mentioned the best shodhana for vada dosha is uh, anu, uh, basti karma so anuvasana basti has to be given that is anuvasana basti means the basti which is being administered using the sneha dravyas only so either it can be uh, taila or uh, ghrita usually we will be preferring the taila for the anuvasana basti or uh, to some extent we will be using ghrita also so using this uh, sneha dravyas we will be administering the basti karma and this basti karma anuvasana basti should be administered along with medya pishita rasa that is the uh, pishita means the meat that is uh, medya pishita the uh, meat which helps in improving the meda such mamsa rasa should be added along with the sneha dravya and such uh, sneha dravyas should be used for administering the basti karma so the most important or the special line of treatment for vada uh, dosha is uh, basti karma itself and that too with medya pishita rasa taila anuvasana has to be administered for the best result so all these uh, methods can be used according to the condition how much aggravation of vada is there or how much vada dushti is present 
based on that appropriate management can be taken that is uh, for example snehana can be done or svetana has to be done abhyanga or martana abhyanga and martana both are massages itself but based on the condition we should determine whether abhyanga has to be done or martana has to be done and similarly the snehana svetana with what sneha dravya we have to administer the sneha whether we have to go for the bahya snehana or abhyantara snehana such all things we have to determine based on the patient condition so first examination of the patient has to be done and we should understand how much dosha dushti is present and based on that we should go for the management of the dosha so these are the uh, measures to reduce the vritha vada dosha Today we have discussed a portion of Dosho Pakramaniya Adhyaya and will be continuing the same chapter in the upcoming videos. For more updates on Samhita, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Thank you. See you in the next video. Till then, bye.